Hey folks, Dino Bob here with Lake Wainwright Paleo Park's second dinosaur exhibit. This time it's for the Elemosaura, an animal uh, found in Australia now. Um, but uh, when it was alive, it lived beyond the Antarctic Circle. Uh, so we're uh, sitting outside the park right now, uh, the new entrance building, and uh, I want to highlight a couple of things I missed in the last video. Uh, this uh, patio area, which is used for receptions, uh, in, largely in connection with the VIP uh, club, but uh, also with other functions at other times. And up here is the security office, uh, which gives them a lookout uh, to the outside of the park. And they can also get up to the roof there. Uh, for uh, watching the inside of the park. So let's go on through the building. Um, we're still living in the, the era of uh, Team Canada red jackets. Uh, the new habitat is on the right. Um, we have a little off the path uh, turnout for guests to get closer to, to look at the animals. Uh, with the uh, obligatory donation boxes and the sign on the left, uh, which shows the animal in the, this enclosure. Uh, you can see it slanted upwards uh, so that it helps blend the terrain in the habitat with the roof of the building beyond. Uh, these animals would have spent a lot of their uh, time in darkness so some kind of insulation was almost certainly necessary. Uh, it wasn't as cold then, uh, you can tell from the tropical flora. Um, these were, of course, for modern boreal uh, Canada, would be uh, modified by uh, paleogenes to survive in these uh, temperatures. We're going to go around to the other place a guest can see them with. Um, I would assume that even in the, de the depths of Canadian winter, um, these animals would uh, not like the weather outside. Uh, so they have a fairly large indoor area, and we're going to head over there. Right now it's not connected to the main path. Uh, that is something that will be changed by the next video. Uh, but we're going to jump across and go on the path. There's uh, two um, areas here that uh, are also roofed over with the green roof and uh, we'll go inside uh, and there is the viewing window um, and there is a, an animal uh, up there on the elevated area there also they get pretty close to the roof up there to give them a little comfort zone um, not much in the way of plants and i should probably reconsider the roofing and put some lights in on it although like i said the darkness but they probably need some more um more stuff going on in that area <clears throat> excuse me uh anyway our animals going down for a drink of water uh by their pond and uh, uh this i think is the first time i've used this particular skin uh the uh, choices of skins seem to range from summer to winter through this one, which is, seems to be uh, the oncoming winter foliage um, where it's starting to get whiter and um, provide camouflage against partially snowy habitat. So you can see three animals right now doing their little tail wave and walk uh, that they are so fond of doing. Um, Anyway, uh, next time uh, we'll get some bigger dinosaurs in um, and we're going to go to head toward the other Arctic Circle for that um, and I hope you join us for that uh, experience. Uh, so there's the aerial view. You can see the whole habitat and the size of the care building um, and we'll have a, a little bit more um, video of the animals uh, as we close out today's episode. Um, after the next one, I think we'll be uh, sort of jumping back in the timeline. 
on the suit uh, to the the reopening uh, a little bit backwards um, but I wanted to get dinosaurs in because uh, well I like dinosaurs uh, it's in the name uh, anyway uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed already uh, you know you can do so you know how to do it uh, drop a like or a comment on this video I'll do my best to answer and I appreciate all the likes till next time you all take care of each other out there be kind and uh, I'll see you again in another video I hope bye now